Hello, it's Galen, design team member for Unity Stamp Company. And today I have a planner that I'm gonna add artwork to. It's the new year and I'm starting it off by adding some art to my planner. I'm using the Unity Stamp Company kit called Crafty Planner Gal by Angie Blom. It's this cute girl and she has uh, craft supplies um, in this artwork and a matching sentiment. I'm also using the Unity Stamp Company paper pack called Autumn Dreams. Autumn Dream. It has pretty florals and I thought that would go with this planner page that I'm going to work on. I die cut these flags uh, using my creative time. Uh, more chunky tag dies. Um, and so I I die cut it from paper from this pretty paper pack. I just love the florals on it and it's autumn colors, but really it could be used year round. And uh, so I have, my planner is called the Happy Planner Mini by Me and My Big Ideas is the name of the company. And um, it's a smaller version of their original Happy Planner. And um, last year, couple of years I had the large one this time I have the mini and it's perfect for um, taking it on the go with you it fits nicely um, in your in your bag when you leave so I am adding um, some artwork using one of the planner gals I am I stamped her on regular cardstock and I stamped the sentiment on regular cardstock and for stamping, you want to use ink that is compatible with the markers you're using. In my case, I'm using Copic markers, and I'm using assorted colors um, to coordinate with this planner page that I'm going to add the artwork to. So I'm adding uh, some yellow and mint green and some browns in there. So. Um, I just alternate from light to dark and back to light again with a lot of the um, color families. So I'm um, doing the face with lots of tan and then I come in with a little bit of pink on the cheeks and then I'm going to add um, color to her art supplies that she's holding and um, color to her, her shirt and um, just sort of matching the page as much as possible. Um, I stamp, I like to stamp um, with either Gina K Designs Jet Black Amalgam Ink or Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink for alcohol markers whenever I'm using Copic markers. Of course you can use watercolor, you can use color pencils or any kind of um, coloring medium for um, you know coloring in your stamped artwork. Um, this is just what I happen to choose. I like to add art like this to planner pages and to my Bible journal pages. And um, what's great about uh, stamping and coloring onto cardstock and then cutting it out is that you're not going to ruin the, you ruin the page by adding um, the markers. The Copic markers tend to bleed back to the back page. But in this case, when you use uh, cardstock, uh, it saves the page, especially on the other side of the page. I outline it a little bit with that mint color so that it blends in with where I'm going to put it on the planner page. And uh, it hides the border a little bit. I like to fussy cut these. Sometimes Unity has cut files that you can download and cut with an electronic cutting machine, and that works just fine too. And then I use clear double-sided tape uh, to adhere uh, the girl and the sentiment flag right onto the side panel um, of my planner page. And so artwork like this can be used all throughout the the um, the planner. So this is this is my my page. I hope I've inspired you to create in your journals. Hope you subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.